Okay, guys, now I'm going to show you the animated slide effect, which is... Where is it? This one right here, the animated counters. The animated counters... Let's see here, we can set the text color to light, dark, background color of it. And this is going to be the color of the actual slide. Actually, I, you set it for all slides, so. Um, admin label looks good. So then we're just going to go ahead and go to add new counter. Going to give it a title. And you're going to have to actually do each of these for as many as you want to display. Um, I did four per row, so you'd have to do four per each. So if you're doing three rows, you would have to do... 12 to have each one have four in a row this does add a very nice effect though because then we just choose the percent here so go ahead and put that in hit save add new counter put another title go ahead and put in another random percent hit save Okay, now I have all three in. Now we're going to go ahead and preview. And then we will see there, of course, is the scrolling from that. And then, as you saw there, the animated sliders slide in. And you can display different information in each one, showing different percents for different stats which can be really great and really eye-catching for anything where you are trying to show different data on a website. And as you can see so far, this is pretty simple to set up the page as we have just the full width, the one-third, 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 and the other options available as well so pretty simple to set up and next we are going to add let's go ahead and add some toggles the toggles we just give a title like everything else um, these will be uh, another one where you create only one per one, but with this one it doesn't have multiples in one. You have to create one, then put another one underneath, another underneath, and another underneath. But the way these work is actually pretty nice. So I will show you this first one, and then I will do as the others and get the others in and show you how these work. One thing I should mention first is this is close open. Um, if you choose open, the toggle is going to start as open. If you choose close, the toggle is going to choose or start as closed. And these are not ones where it stays open. It's one where people can open and close it. Some toggles for different programs, they may force the first one open and the rest closed. Okay, so now as you see here, I have set it up in a row of three underneath one another. So now I will hit preview again so it refreshes the page. And we will go down to the toggles here where you see they are closed. But when I hit this button, the toggle opens. So you can put text and images in here that will toggle open and closed which is really nice for some pages where you may want to display information this way and have a lot of information but not have it take up a huge section of the page. Or you may just want to have different titles for different ones.